How's it guys, Monash here and today we're on Act 7 Chapter 2.4 and I decided to start with the Mix Master Path. So if you perform the same basic attack twice in a row, the opponent will have a 100% chance to evade that attack. But despite that, you can still use pretty much any good champ for Mix Master because they can't evade while they're stunned, so you can still drop 5 hit combos if you parry stun first. Just gotta make sure you alt between light and medium for those last two hits. So if you want to do a light ending combo then you actually need to start your combo with a light attack and then throw in a medium before that last light attack. So a triple light medium light combo. Which is what I did to switch Black Widow Clairvoy into incinerate mode. And that brings us to the next node which is light em up. So whenever the defender is suffering from a shock or incinerate debuff, they'll also have a 200% ability accuracy reduction to their evade and order blocking abilities. So you can use pretty much any good champ for this path, but if you have an evade counter then it will be a little bit easier. And if you have a champ with very easy access to shock and incinerate debuffs, it's going to be easier and you'll be doing a lot more damage. All because of the last two nodes on this path. Kabam have finally introduced the incinerate and shock versions of the vulnerability nodes. So whenever the defender is shocked or incinerated, you'll get a 200% attack increase when landing attacks. So Torch works really well for this path, um, I'm sure Black Widow Deadly Origin would also blitz through it too, but really any decent champ with easy access to those two debuffs should work quite well. I think I used Torch for 3 out of 6 fights on the path, then I used Hyperion on the two tech champs and Black Widow Clairvoyant on Heimdall. I could have done this path much faster if I used Torch for everything, but I just wanted to have some variety in my gameplay. Then for the boss I took Nova and he's got some fairly interesting nodes I guess. The first one is Burnout, so whenever he throws a special attack and whenever you dex a special attack he gets a burnout charge. And those increase his special attack by 10% and when he has at least 10 charges, 10 of them will get removed and he'll be power locked for 10 seconds. And the reason why it's at least 10 is because you can actually apply multiple charges with one dex because it counts as each hit of the special attack. So you might only need to dex your special one twice, but that'll apply 4 charges because you avoided 4 hits with dex. Then there's time to strike which will apply a non-stacking passive degen whenever the opponent tries to gain power or health while they are power locked. So that one only works to your advantage. Then there's the supercharge node, so every 15 seconds they'll get a power gain buff for 20% power over 10 seconds. So that one can be annoying if you have no way to control it, but he also has the aggressive node, so at least he won't take long to throw those special attacks. So I used Magneto, who absolutely destroyed Nova in less than 2 minutes, because he's metal, so you get ability accuracy reduction, perfect block chance, ignores auto block, big boy damage from the special attacks, and sharp no bleed, so yeah, it was just a good time using Magneto. But you can use pretty much any good Nova counter for this fight, it's not that specific, it's just a really stacked Nova. So your strong Mystic Nullifier should also work quite well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, hope you guys found it useful, but as always, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.